Some of you think that you're a luxury when in reality, you're a commodity. And by the end of this video, we'll teach you how to tell the difference and even level up from one to the other. Now, before you bring out your pitchforks, being a commodity isn't so bad. You're useful, but there's a lot of you and your price is usually diminished by volume. Corn is a commodity. Sugar is a commodity. There are even more expensive commodities such as gold or oil. But there's a certain class of goods that are considered luxuries and these demand a premium. The more we'll go through the list, the more you'll realize this one goes beyond brands. So what's the difference between luxuries and commodities? Let's find out. Are you a luxury or a commodity? Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Number one, luxury is exclusive. It's hard to come by them. There's usually a waiting list. Try it right now. Walk into a Rolex store and try to buy a watch. You'll be shocked to find they'll not sell you a Rolex even if you have the money. The best option for them is to add you to a waiting list and they'll call you in six to 12 months from now when a watch becomes available crazy, right? Luxuries are hard to access. They're not there for everyone to sample them. Luxury goods don't change hands very often. This is why Ferraris are worth more than taxi cabs. Scarcity demands a higher price tag. Lack of use demands a premium. Luxury goods are available for a select few. If everyone could afford an Hermes bag, then there would be no scarcity and there would be no intrinsic value attached to the product. Number two, luxury goods rely on heritage and reputation. It takes decades or even centuries to build a true luxury brand while commodities are created overnight. Reputation is everything. A single mistake could ruin a reputation. That's why those that survive have everything at stake to deliver a reputation and stick to their values. Goyard is a great example of luxury brand that refuses to cheapen the quality of their products and just put their logo on a t-shirt for a quick buck. Heritage has to do with legacy. Eighth generation winemakers are superior to your local brewery because they've had so much time to perfect their recipe and that knowledge has been passed down from generation to generation. Number three, attention to image, detail, and craftsmanship. Everything has to be perfect. It takes six months to build a Rolls Royce and 13 hours to build a Toyota. It's the little things that make a big difference because the little things, they add up. You can't be a master if you decided two weeks ago to become a life coach based on free online webinars that you took. That's not how it works. When you are a luxury, image matters. Always on point, always fresh, always taken care of, no loose strings. Your book will be judged by its cover, and different covers demand different prices and different audiences. Number four, more demand than supply. Luxury goods are always in high demand. Everyone wants a piece, but very few can afford it. Luxury goods are aspirational. One day you hope you'll be able to afford them. Really, that's why beautiful women have such large followings on Instagram. As an individual, others know of you, but they don't know you. That's when you become valuable. If you want to elevate your status, lower your availability. The more people see you, the more they think you're just like them. When you limit your availability, time with you becomes something others look forward to. That's why you can wait six months to get your Rolex, but you can walk into any shopping mall and walk away with a Casio. Number five, polished and refined. Luxury brands have had their quirks fixed. They've been incrementally approved until they're almost perfect. Not only have any obvious flaws been addressed and fixed, but the final product has also been elevated over time, knowledge and insights. Translated to an individual, not only have you dealt with your past and are now at peace, but you've put tremendous effort into elevating who you are. You've traveled, you've learned from other individuals, you're a more complete being that's continuously improving. In a world of noise and chaos, it's hard to find a path to get there. If you feel lost in life, if you feel like you're destined for more, that your potential exceeds your reality, well, we can help. 
We built an app specifically designed for someone like you. You need someone to hold your hand and focus your efforts on what's really important. Go to alux.com slash app right now. Download the app and sign up for a yearly subscription. Every day you'll receive a coaching session that's valuable to you specifically, plus includes access to all of our learning packs. You will learn how to build wealth, how to be more confident, how to find meaning in your life, and how to build habits that make a difference. Plus, we are constantly creating what we call shortcuts to the good life. Alux.com slash app. Almost 100,000 people have downloaded the app and the reviews are insane. By the end of the year, most of our app users will have increased their net worth, will be slightly happier and more optimistic about their future. You could be next if you get the app today, or you know, maybe you want to stay a commodity. Your call. And speaking of choices, another trait of luxuries is number six, a strong brand identity. Luxury brands know who they are and what they stand for. Luxury brands are easily recognizable as they don't fall flat in the crowd. You can tell the trench is a Burberry or the car is a Ferrari. They've got that trademark identity. You can't confuse The Rock with anyone else. They've mastered their image and protect their identity at all costs. Their branding elements have value. A plain t-shirt costs five bucks. Put a Disney logo on it and now it's worth 20 bucks. That's the power of a brand. And speaking of brands and celebrities, luxury goods have number seven, high profile association. You see celebrities wearing them. You see individuals look up to be ambassadors of the brand. It's the same with individuals. If you're friends with a high profile person, your profile goes up by association. In the eyes of the population, high value attracts high value. So the more valuable you are in society, the more valuable individuals will gravitate toward you. Number eight, it's about the experience. When you enter a luxury store, you realize it's something different. The staff treats you differently. You drink champagne while you shop and others are fetching the products for you. The experience is about you. What is it like when other people interact with you? Is that an experience for them? Do they tell other people they got to meet you? How do people walk away after meeting you? How do they feel? You probably have never thought about this before, but at the highest level, you craft this kind of experience. That's why Chris Brown charges $1,000 for a meet and greet. Number nine, elitist and status elevating. You probably don't know this and it might come as a shock to you, but people don't buy four, five, three, six, ten million dollar cars for the car. You pay $4.3 million for a Bugatti Chiron only to become a member of the Bugatti Owners Club. These are private events for the elites who can afford to purchase such a car. You meet now and then and do business together. Instead of paying for a membership, you buy a car as a participation token and as proof of funds. That's what the elites do. They gatekeep the commodities from diluting the luxury. That's why country clubs have such high fees. Luxury goods elevate status. People take pride in their own association. You buy a $500 Gucci t-shirt because you want people to know you can afford to waste 500 bucks on what's not worth more than $10 because you have excess capital and you can afford it. Number 10 timeless and consistent in excellency. Many things are trendy. A few things are really hot for a little while and they drop off. It happens all the time to products and it also happens to people. Some people peak in high school. Others age like a fine wine. We're looking at you, Brad Pitt. Luxury goods stand the test of time. Not only do they keep their value throughout time, but more often than not in the older days, it's worth a lot more. You see bottles of Petrouche versus a bottle of 2022 Chianti. This is also why Jay-Z is considered by most one of the greatest of all time as a rapper. It's not enough to have a hot track or even a few hot albums. Everything needs to be excellent across time. 
consistency and quality is one of the biggest differentiators in the marketplace. If you've been following the wisdom stories in the ALEX app, which are free to listen to, by the way, without a subscription, then you know about the time Steve Jobs met with the CEO of LVMH. Long story short, Steve Jobs congratulated Bernard Arnault on seeing something he didn't, timelessness. He said, you see, Bernard, in 50 years, nobody will remember the iPhone as the world would have passed on to the next thing, but they will still drink your Dom Perignon. These two industry giants have been playing the same game, only on different timelines. Number 11. Innovating While Rooted in Tradition Those who've been at the game the longest usually stand on the largest amount of intellectual capital. This is why all the big tech companies are spending so much money on R&D, research and development. But usually, innovation comes from luxury markets. Tesla, the modern electric car for the masses, started off with luxury roadster prices for the elites. Then they used the money to improve manufacturing until everyone could afford it. Dyson, the iconic electronics manufacturer, has innovated the air purification and vacuum space. It usually takes several years for their competitors to catch up. Number 12. Eccentric Luxury is usually different, but in a useful way. As we know, not everything different has value. But there is something about being eccentric that has value. In a world where everyone basically is the same, getting the spotlight on yourself will get you the attention. Now it's a matter of being able to hold on to it or not. Many people don't understand what the deal is with crazy outfits at fashion shows. Like, really, who would wear this? But those aren't there as actual products, but as attention-grabbing pieces. You mention the brand's name and you buy their actual clothes. This is what you see on the runway or the editorials. And this is what the retail product actually looks like. Number 13. Tailored and Personalized With luxury goods, you don't get the cookie-cutter experience. You get something custom, something personalized and tailored to you. It's the same with the lives of individuals. If your life is the same as everyone else's, you might consider yourself a commodity. It's all the same for food, for entertainment, watching the same shows, going to the same two travel destinations, working the same boring jobs, and you've never done anything extraordinary. Commodities are fungible, they're replaceable with one another. Luxury goods aren't like that, nor are high-value individuals. There's nobody with the same cocktail of experience, knowledge, and insights because nobody lives quite the same extraordinary life that they did. Tailor your life to what you want from it, not what the billboards are telling you to do next. Number 14. Sensual If you've been paying attention to the world around you, you've probably realized that everything in this world is about sex. Except sex, because sex is about power. We work hard to provide, make ourselves more colorful, stand out, be noticed, and feel like we matter in the eyes of the person staring back at us in the mirror. You buy the expensive car because you think you'll get laid more. That's the power of luxury. It's appealing and it draws others toward you, its owner. All true luxury brands have a touch of sex appeal. All high-profile individuals have an aura of possibility and lavishness associated with them. So add a dash of sensuality to your persona. Number 15. Focused Don't do everything. Do a handful of things incredibly well. The more you dilute yourself, the more confusing your brand is. Stick to one broad field and become the voice in that niche. Hermes does bags, Rimoa does travel luggage, Voss does water. Think to yourself, would you buy a TV manufactured by Lamborghini? I mean, sure, they've got a strong luxury brand, but there's a misalignment between what that brand is meant to do and what purpose you need that product to serve. You will make a name for yourself by mastering and dominating a space. After that, you have the ability to expand. Now, since you've made it this far in the video, you've earned yourself a little bit of something we only reserve for the true Aluxers. The bonus. Why you're not rich yet. 
You believe that money and wealth will inevitably happen if you keep throwing things at the wall until something eventually sticks. What we're about to share with you is one of the most powerful nuggets of gold that we've learned recently, and it took us 10 years to figure it out. There are three brackets of businesses. Zero to one million dollars. This is where most of you are. The problem? You're trying to do too much because you have no idea what you're actually doing. The solution? Pick one product, one customer, and one channel of marketing. Master those and you'll get your first million in 12 to 24 months. One million to ten million dollars. This is where you replace yourself with people. The problem? The business is dependent on you. You're the main breadwinner, so if you don't flex, the business fails. The solution? It'll take roughly five people to replace you, and even then it won't do it entirely. But they will do it enough for you to find new growth opportunities. This is where you scale up. You add another channel for customer acquisition and you're growing exponentially. 10 million to 100 million dollars and up. This is where we are right now. This is where you position yourself as a luxury brand with all the traits mentioned already. The problem? You fail to maintain excellent, consistent quality over larger volumes of products. The solution? You invest heavily in other people's expertise and you bring them in to polish up the experience. By standardizing the process and putting in quality control mechanisms, you're finally able to scale. Here at Alux, we think a lot about our business and how it's evolving and how it's growing incredibly fast. In order to not only keep up, but consistently improve the quality of our products and your experience as a consumer, we are constantly bringing in people with unique expertise to learn from. The thing is, we want you to learn from them as well. This isn't official yet, but since it's just us, the true Aluxers, before the end of the year, we're introducing something called Alux Creator Partnerships, where we will partner up with influencers and industry experts to offer you even better learning experiences. We already have a few of them locked in via contracts. The creme de la creme of the content will be available on the app, but we'll have a good portion of the value here for free on YouTube as well. When we said we will change the way people educate themselves, look, okay, we weren't kidding, we're actually doing this. If you're a creator, a coach, or an industry expert, please go to alux.com contact, select partnership, and reach out with your credentials. Who knows, maybe we'll create something together. If you've been around since Alux was a luxury-centered platform, please write the word luxury in the comments. That way we know you're not a commodity. Let's see how many of you have made the choice to live a different, more refined kind of life. Thanks for spending some of your valuable time with us today, Alex. We're so glad you did. If you enjoyed this one, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey, don't forget to subscribe.